Hey guys, and welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today, I wanna to talk about day sacks. So recently, I invested in a day sack, and it was quite a difficult process with not much information out there to know which day sacks are the best, which one would be right for me. So I thought I'd make a video putting all the information in one place, explaining the best day sacks on a range of different budgets, what I looked for when buying a day sack, and a review of the day sack that I bought. So why did I wanna buy a day sack? Well, firstly, all throughout basic training, I used issued kit, and anyone that's done that knows that like, gets the job done, but it's not the best. So after basic training, I wanted to actually invest in a bit more kit, and one of the things that kind of cropped up for me quite a lot of one of the things that I wanted to invest into was a day sack, because I tab a lot, and you know, the normal rucksacks that I was using would be good up until like 15, 20 kg, but when you wanna go heavier than that, it just could not handle it. And also for ease on exercise, having a decent day sack makes life a lot easier. So when I was looking at day sacks, there were so many out there, but I didn't necessarily know the best ones. And it was quite difficult to know like how good they were, whether they were robust, whether they'd meet the needs that I had. So thankfully I could go on my Instagram. A lot of my followers are in the army or in the military generally. So so I put a question card up on my Instagram asking, you know, you guys, which are the best day sacks? So I got loads of responses back from that and I'll put on screen a summary of the responses in two different budget categories, depending on what you're looking for. So the more expensive ones and the ones that are a little more inexpensive. And I also tallied up the responses so you can see how many people actually recommended those particular day sacks. So one of the, the popular ones was this JJ's day sack. And I also spoke to a lot of friends that I have that are either in the regular infantry now or were and they also recommended that particular day sack. So for me, I was like, oh, well, all roads are leading in one direction here and that people are saying that this is a pretty decent day sack. So that was the one that I very much was swaying towards. It really just ticked my boxes of what I was looking for. Like personally, I wanted a day sack that was robust, that would last, that would be able to handle quite a lot of weight in it. And then something that would just hold my stuff in a way that was easy for me to pack it and know in my mind like what's where. And I think what I like about this particular day sack is it mirrors a Bergen layout in that there's no zips. It literally is just one big compartment you open up and then two side pouches and a top flap, like that's it. So I sort of pack it in that same way I would do a Bergen in a way. So my mind when I'm on exercise is like not faffing around when you're like monging out and it's in the dark of like, where did I put that? Is it that bit, that bit? Like I just know the layout and structure of how I pack my kit and it kind of transfers from the Bergen to the day sack. So that's a key feature I really like. So I feel like the JJ's one is the one that I went with because it ticked loads of boxes. Whilst it is a little bit more expensive, but for me personally, it's kind of an investment. It's worth paying a couple hundred pounds for something that I A, use every week and B, hopefully will use on a long army career because obviously I'm planning to go to Santos as a regular officer anyway. So that is why I chose this particular day sack. And now I just wanna give a, like a little review because when I was looking at like, do I, do I want this day sack? There was literally no reviews on YouTube that I could find that showed what it looked like. Cause when you go on the JJ website, there's just like one picture and it doesn't show like what it's like inside or anything. So I thought I would just like go through. So for me, some of the key features are the fact that it's super robust, good quality. The straps are also quite wide, which means that it takes more of the weight off. It's obviously got the chest strap across anyway when you're tabbing, that's a really great help. And the straps are adjustable in multiple different places. Rather than take the shoulder strap off, you can just unclip it, which makes life a lot easier when you've got a lot of chunky kit on. on all on the front and on the top flap, there's molly, so you can attach things if you want to. I am yet to do that, but I think I will probably end up getting some form of pouch that I'm gonna to attach to the outside of the day sack. It's got a waterproof liner on the inside, which acts as the very same as a Bergen one would. I use dry sacks anyway in my day sack, but it also helps to have that little bit of extra protection. It's got a pouch on either side of the day sack. Again, very much similar like a Bergen, which are like mesh, so you can kind of see what's in there. I don't really use those on exercise so much, but when I'm out tabbing, that's sort of like where I put either additional weight or I might just put like a water bottle, so they are quite helpful for that type of thing. The day sack itself basically comprises of one big compartment when you open it up, and in the inside, this is kind of what it looks like. I feel like it's a double-edged sword. I like that it's one big compartment, everything's in there, you can put multiple different dry bags in there to separate up your stuff so it makes life easier. However, the drawback is that there's no like zip compartments to specifically store things you might need but might not necessarily access all the time. So it means if you want something out of it and it happens to be at the bottom of the bag, you've got to rummage through to get it out. I think the way to combat it really is just like, I don't take that much stuff with me when we're going out on exercise in my day sack and it kind of has made that problem 
not as big as I thought it might be. So whilst the main bulk of storage in the day sack is that big compartment, you also do have a zipped top flap. I normally just put snacks in there, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's nice to have a little bit of something away from the main compartment. If you want things to hand, that's where I'm gonna, that's where I shove it. Like generally, when I've been on tabs, it's really comfortable. There's a lot of padding on the back. You can add more in if you want to. As I said, the straps are very wide, which I feel like takes the weight off a lot more. Although being a smaller frame, I will say that like, the straps are kind of like here. So if I'm like not swinging my arms around enough, it kind of can cut the blood flow off a little bit to my hands, just because it's like taking up so much of that shoulder like, panel, whereas a thinner strap, whilst it'll be less comfortable, it kind of would allow more movement. So it's just something to consider if you are a female or just a super small frame like I am. <laughs> but generally like, yeah, I think it's really, really good rucksack. Definitely would recommend it if you are looking for a day sack and you want something that matches sort of the specifications or the uses of what I've sort of outlined that I've personally found that it's good for. And yeah, like I just really wanted to hop on and make a quick video about day sacks. I know kit might not necessarily be the most interesting things to some people, but it was more of a video that I wanted to make because I would have appreciated this video three months ago when I bought my day sack because there's literally nothing online, especially for a lot of military day sacks out there. The best you can do is just like ask people that you know, but if you don't really know many people that have a day sack they're super fond of, then it, you kind of fall a bit flat. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.